Hello everyone. In this quick tip, I'm going to show you a very simple technique, but also something not too many people know about. So if you're familiar with Vetrix software, you probably know that in the 3D view, you can rotate your view around any which way you like. And then there are also the preset views in the top right hand corner. So the first preset view is the isometric view. The next one is the Z view from the top. And then we have the X view from the left hand side. And then we have the Y view from the front. So that is all the views if you click them just one time with your left mouse button. So let's go back to the Z view from the top. And the part that not too many people know about is you can hold your shift key and click those letters again. And now you can see it will flip it over to the other side. So now we're looking at the back side by holding shift and clicking the letter Z. Let's left click one time the X view to look at the left side again. And you could see my origin in the center. The Y axis is pointed to the left. Now if we hold our shift key and click the letter X, now it's going to flip it to the right side and the Y axis is going the opposite direction. And then the final one here, if we click the letter Y one time with our left mouse button, we're looking at the front side and the X axis is pointed to the right. Now if we hold our shift key again and click the Y one more time, now we're looking at it from the top of the eagle and the X axis is now pointing to the left. So as you can see, that's a great way to look around your 3D models or your toolpath previews in the 3D view. And another thing this is good for is for sending pictures to customers or for posting on your website or social media. That way the customer can see what the product will look like before you have to make it. And if you don't know how to save images, what you want to do is first get the view that you want and anything you see in this 3D view is going to be captured in the picture. So in this case, I want to turn off the origin and the center as well as the modeling plane in the background. And to do that, we have to go to view and then click draw origin that will turn it off and then go back to view and click draw modeling plane that will turn the modeling plane off. Now the first button will zoom in to your material limits that will get it a little bit closer. But if you want to get even closer, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and you can pan around with the center wheel on your mouse. And once you get the 3D view of your model the way you want it, you can click view and then click save shaded image. When you click on that, that's going to open up your file menu and then we can give it a name. I'll name it Eagle. And I also like to do the underscore and then I do ISO for the isometric view and then click save. And then if you want more views of the model, let's say we wanted the Z view, we can click on Z and then go to view again and click save shaded image. And this time we can name it Eagle and we could do underscore uh, top and then click save. And now if we wanted the backside, we can hold the shift key, click the letter Z that will flip it around. And now we can click view, save shaded image, and we can give the same name, except we'll do bottom and click save. And now if you go to the file menu where you save those, you could see we have three images of those views. So if we double click on this to open it up, these will be the images that you can send to customers or post on your website or social media. So as you can see, that's a great way to visualize your project before you even have to turn your machine on. Okay, so that's how you save 3D models. If you wanted to do the same thing with toolpath previews, let's go back to the top view. You would have to go to the toolpath tab. And then inside of the toolpath tab, you have to click on preview toolpaths. And then I don't have toolpaths currently, but what you would do is preview the toolpaths. And then after you preview them, you can also change the material colors at the top, as well as any views that you want to change. And once you get it the way you want it, you just click save preview image. And that will save your toolpath preview just the way you see it on the screen. So hopefully those tips helped you out. And if they did, make sure you like and subscribe for more.